Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I am Chef Marcus Giuliano. I'm a chef on a mission. Today's mission is nutrition. It's corned beef and cabbage season coming up this Saturday. Every restaurant across America, or most restaurants across America, will be serving corned beef and cabbage and boiled potatoes. But what exactly is in corned beef? What makes it pink? Uh, how does it retain that color? Is it natural? <laughs> Could it be natural? Well, yes, yes, yes. Corned beef for corned beef and cabbage, the reason why it's pink is because it has a preservative called sodium nitrate. Sodium nitrate is what they put in hot dogs, uh, processed deli meats. Now you can buy lots now in the market that are available without any added nitrates, okay? Uh, Applegate has a line, there's a lot of small producers. We buy a chorizo here, a grass-fed, real grass-fed, grass-finished beef chorizo that has no nitrates. We get this hot dog from Sundance Farms in upstate New York, which is made from organic grass-fed beef that has no nitrates. The disadvantage to not adding nitrates, and this is what the problem is with the food manufacturers, the shelf life is diminished, okay? This is all about profits that we're talking. In the 70s, the USDA wanted to ban the use of sodium nitrate, but the food manufacturers were the ones who said, how are we gonna extend the shelf life? How are we gonna make this a safe product? So they convinced the USDA to allow them to put sodium nitrates in. Now there is a direct correlation between sodium nitrate and cancer. There's a lot of links on the internet, there's a lot of studies that are done. Uh, you can go to Dr. Mercola, you can go to Mike Adams, the health ranger, uh, you can go to Gary Null, there's lots and lots of evidence, supporting evidence, that nitrates that are in, so, so nitrates that are added into cured meats have a direct correlation with cancer, especially colon cancer. And when you think about it, all processed meats like hot dogs and all these deli meats like ham, they contain a large amount of fat too. Um, so you have a high fat food, you have a chemical additive, plus in the high fat, you have all of your contaminants. Because let's face it, a small portion of animals in America are actually raised hormone free, antibiotic free, um, you know, out on green pastures. That's really not the norm here in America. So you have all these contaminants that go up the food chain. This is why tuna has mercury in it, because tuna eat other fish and it gets concentrated in the fat of the tuna. Same thing with cold cuts, processed meats, deli meats, corned beef. Corned beef comes from the brisket, and the brisket's a highly fatty cut of beef. So all these dioxins, PCBs, all these other contaminants, these heavy metals get stored in the fat of the animal, just like you know, on us, that's where we store all that. The fat, all these things go right to the fat. Um, so what can you do here? Um, you can skip the corned beef if you eat corned beef, um, but a lot of people really don't want to skip the corned beef. So there is a natural way to make corned beef, and I was really impressed because Alton Brown, when you, so first thing you search, when you search Google, when you uh, go on a Google search for corned beef recipes, Alton Brown pops up, and he has a recipe up there on the Food Network that has no added nitrates, no pink salt. Pink salt is the thing that the chefs use, and it comes in, I remember 14, 15 years ago, the places I had worked in the, cold, in the charcuterie department, they were using sodium nitrate, or pink salt, to cure the meats and add to the shelf life. And back then I was a young chef and I had no idea. It's just some kind of salt, because it says pink salt on it, or saltpeter, which is curing salt. That's what has sodium nitrate in it. So a lot of chefs are using this, not really realizing what it is. Um, and back then there was just really no, I, I wasn't in the realm, I wasn't ready to understand the dangers of the f our food supply. So you can actually make it without it. So well, why aren't we all making it without it? Well, because, of course, the shelf life is diminished. But for me, like a small restaurateur, we made our own corned beef here. I took local, pasture-raised, no hormone, no antibiotic, never, ever vaccinated beef from a local farm here and made the same exact blend that Alton would have on his recipe. Basically, it's pickling spice. You can take pickling spice, or a variation of pickling spice. You can add ginger. You can add a couple things to it to fit your tastes and you add some kind of high quality salt. Uh, they recommend kosher. I recommend real salt, R-E-A-L, real salt from, uh, so I have a package around here, I think I do. So I recommend the real salt, Redmond Real Salt from the Utah Flats, very high quality salt. If you have, oh, you take a high quality salt, don't use kosher salt, because kosher salt is a highly processed salt. And then take a sugar, a dried sweetener. Now we like sucanat here. 
and we like evaporated coconut sap, uh, palm sugar. Those are our two favorite sweeteners here. So we would use those. Some people, the recipe calls for sugar. Of course, sugar is another kind of food that is highly, highly processed, lots of chemicals in it, not good for the environment. Uh, so something like sucanat has a much less impact on the environment. So you can take, substitute the sucanat for the, for the sugar. You can substitute the, the good salt, the real salt, for their kosher salt, and use pickling spice. And this brines for about five days. And after it brines, you take it out of the brine, so water and all those things I mentioned. Take it out of the water, and then you slowly poach it very, very, which is maybe a small simmer. Um, and you cook it for three, four hours until it gets nice and tender. And that's your corned beef. So the corned beef is not going to be pink because it, has, it doesn't have the pink salt. That's the name of the pink salt uh, in it, which is sodium nitrate. And... Uh, it tastes phenomenal. We made one here. We, we cooked it the other day. It's ready for St. Patrick's Day. Uh, it is phenomenal. We're so excited. Um, we make it ourselves every year. The only thing is you need to plan ahead of time. You need five days to really uh, brine or cure this, as, as you call this. Um, so say no to sodium nitrate. Say no to uh, pink corned beef. Let restaurants know uh, what the story is. If you're a chef, hey, Follow that Alton Brown recipe, really good recipe. Um, I have no problems with that recipe, except for the highly processed salt and the highly processed sugar. So this is interesting. In an article from uh, Mike Adams, the health ranger, um, he's saying to protect yourself when you're consuming these meats to take a high dosage of vitamin C and vitamin E. Because what happens when you consume nitrates, they produce nitrosamines, which are the cancer-causing nitrosamines that um, are highly publicized. Well, he's saying that if you consume vitamin C and vitamin E in large amounts, that actually it's not going to make that conversion uh, once you ingest it. Um, but of course, you know the idea is not to ingest the processed meats to begin with. So, you know, what, what do you do? Well, if you do take the vitamin C, take the vitamin E. It doesn't say how much. Um, you know, I, he mentions a good thing here: chlorella. Chlorella is that uh, single cell. Um, 10 micron uh, phytoplankton from the ocean or fresh water that uh, krill eat, that uh, salmon eat, that uh, has tons of antioxidants. The neat thing about Corella is Corella really can get rid of a lot of the heavy metals in your system. Over the course of a month by taking Chlorella, you can really, really make some major improvements in your in your blood results and in the, in the level of high mercury in your um, uh, tox toxins in your system. So It's relatively inexpensive, and you want to get the broken cell chlorella, and that's what goes into your body and just acts like a sponge and just starts grabbing all these metals and then getting them out of your system. It's really an awesome food chlorella, um, or superfood, or supplement, however you want to, want to label it. Uh, but definitely take chlorella on a regular daily. My kids take it every single day. Uh, some of the uh, best athletes in the world, some of the best top vegan athletes in the world are hooked on chlorella, and it's a really phenomenal superfood. So, I'm Marcus Julian. I'm a chef on a mission. Today's mission was no pink. No pink in your corned beef.